So we're on our way to Green Cove Springs and we're going to look at a cab at 36 today. And we're going down the road and it's about four and a half hours from Fort Lauderdale to Green Cove Springs. winch over here now if you decided <coughs> for example that you want to run oil lines back and I'll show you how you could do that one nice thing is they got the step has these hook-ons right here so you can put your turning blocks on here without having to drill into there and take them right back um, very nice feature um, this is your staysail right here. It's what they call hanged on, meaning you got these little uh, what they call hang buttons and everything that you that you attach to your uh, staysail stick, and it's what they call a club-footed staysail, meaning that it's basically once that's done, you would furl it self-tending. It automatically tacks and your, your head stay, I mean your, your jib, is on a roll of furling. The, it's what they call a Yankee, meaning the fact that it's high cut. It kind of it goes up, the, the foot is cut up like this as opposed to down here. And the reason being is because offshore people don't want a, what they call a deck sweeper because what happens go into a wave that collects water and you want a high cut foot on it. Now the main has what they call a stack pack to it and um, it will drop in, drop in, you just roll it up, put your, your cover on, you're off and running. So it makes operating your, your head sail, which is a good size head sail, meaning the fact that this boat will sail very well just on your main alone. Um, and of course, and the beauty about this is the fact that um, if you have the reef down or you're in heavy weather, you can sail by your, your staysail and your main, reefed main, you're off and running. So she's got a, a dinghy here. It's a soft dinghy, blow up, uh, eight and a half feet. Um, the eyes and glass, as you can see, is almost new. This right here and everything is, you can take it apart, you, you know, obviously, if you're sailing, I would take this strip out right here, and uh, so you got visibility better, but this creates another room. Mm -hmm. And um, wrapped up in a, is, is the steering vane. Um, Which one is it? Is it the green. It's, it's, uh, I mean, what, is it a hydro vane monitor? Or? Uh, it's, it's a hydro vane. And the, the fins are down below, which I could show you that go on there. That's a panel for 
uh, <coughs> solar panel up there. Um, he does have davits here. He's got the cushion that goes in here. Mm -hmm. This was basically a garage for him. <laughs> and um, he has storage down here. But your panel, uh, that's your uh, 120 panel down below. This is your, your nav station, which is really nice, I like forward facing. Um, let's see. This is the hull right here. Mm. Okay. This is your your outer outer. You can see the buildup on it. This is your inner, and um, this is your. All this was built by him. There you go, Justin. Wine storage. <laughs> well, anytime, anytime <laughs> that you're dealing with the uh, Canadians or the French. Now, this guy right here, this is really nice. Um, again, this is a Canadian boat. You could put five briquettes in here, and they'll last all night, and it will keep you keep you warm. Um, another thing, uh, beautiful pillow, uh, mattresses in here. This is all his work too. Okay. Uh, he did this so <clears throat> it'll keep ventilating under here and keep this thing nice and dry. But you got uh, you got storage. Your water tank is back under here. This is all, and you can see his work is top notch. I mean, there's nothing. This guy knows what he's doing. But. Um, how tall are you? I'm like 5'9". No, oh, super tall. <laughs> this is a beautiful place. <laughs> you guys, you guys will have no problem. You got, I'll get out of here. You got storage over here, 120. Um, you got screens. You got a hatch over here. Opening ports over here on either side. <coughs> and uh, behind the door, you have a hanging locker. The head is plumb. The head is plumb to go. With the head is uh, fairly new. Um, it, everything goes into the the holding tank. Okay. The 
Beijo.